Welcome to Oz Lifting Products. I'm here to talk to you about our manual push beam trolleys that are made in the USA and patented. Our half ton trolley comes standard with an 8 inch pin, optional 12 inch pin, and optional 16 inch pin. Our one ton trolley comes standard with an 8 inch pin, also available with a 12 inch pin and 16 inch pin option as well. Our two ton is 8 inch pin and our three ton an 8 inch pin as well. These two series, the half and the one ton, are also available man rated. So next we're going to show you the features and benefits of these trolleys along with how to install them. As you can see we've done away with the washers and threaded rod adjustment system and we've invented a new quick adjustment system. Some of the main features and benefits are that the wheels are completely shrouded by the outside side plates so that any drops aren't going to damage the wheels or bearings. We have glow-in-the-dark decals both on the open and close directions as well as a measurement system that shows you how wide the trolley has been adjusted to. This helps not only to preset the trolley to install it but also to make sure that the bale is centered once you've installed it. All the wheels featured double sealed roller bearings for easy motion and we have a new adjustment system. Basically to adjust the trolley you pull out the locking pin and spin the hand wheel accordingly. The trolley wheels automatically lock in place making adjustment just about as easy as it can get. Let's take a look at how we install the Oz push beam trolley onto an I-beam. The first step to installing the push beam trolley is to measure the width of your beam. The second step of installing the trolley is to preset one of the side plates to the correct width. In this case we measured the beam to be three inches so we're going to move the side plate in until it measures at three inches. We lock that handle in place and that's going to make the install just that much quicker. With the first side of the trolley preset for the beam width, it's pretty straightforward just to adjust the other side. And you can see on the trolley there's decals that show you which direction to turn the hand wheel to either open or close the trolley. So now we're going to tighten the trolley up on the beam. When installing the trolley you want to make sure that there's a slight gap between each side on the wheels against the beam and that when you tighten everything up the numbers on the measurement scale match. This is going to ensure that the bale is centered and now we're ready to roll. The locking mechanism on this trolley is unique to Oz lifting and you'll see that it involves a locking spring pin. So when the trolley is free you can adjust it for your beam to lock the trolley in place, spin the locking pin so that the tab aligns with the groove and back the trolley wheel up. The locking pin automatically deploys and now the trolley is locked in place. Each of the push beam trolleys is permanently engraved with both the capacity as well as the manufacturer ID. To remove the trolley from the beam, just follow the installation steps in reverse. Unlock the locking pin and twist it so that it stays retracted and just loosen the wheel. Make sure you support the trolley as you loosen it so that it doesn't fall off the beam. Once you've got the trolley open wide enough so that it can slip off the beam, just slide the trolley off and it's removed. For more information on these, please contact us at 1-800-749-1064 or you can email us at sales at ozliftingproducts.com or visit our website at ozliftingproducts.com. Thank you.